All right, hello everyone. I am Crota coming at you doing a little bit of, well, hex drafting. Um, hex drafting, this is Scars of War, so it is six, <coughs> excuse me, six, six, five. And taking a look at what I have here, um, a lot of Midnight Gatherer can be really, really good if, if you get her off really early. Um, there seems to be some good cards in Memory of the Fallen probably will not wheel. Warp Steel Shard Sound probably will not wheel. Canyon Fleetfoot might wheel. Gallant Spear Cliff, Windborne Ascension. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what comes around. I always find drafting the first pack um, extremely difficult um, just because you don't know what other people are going. Um, already though, I already see Midnight Gatherer, I see Mystic Naturalist. Both of these cards are extremely, extremely strong cards and pretty much win conditions in and, in and of themselves. So I might be going Diamond Sapphire, even though um, Ada did very recently get a very, very strong nerf. Um, not nearly as strong as um, she or Ada used to be, but really strong and limited. In draft, it was okay. I mean, multiple people would try to uh, draft a Diamond Sapphire as well. Cloud Bounder also works well with the Midnight Gatherer. But I, I got to go with the Mystic Naturalist here, and and pretty much hope that I can I can build a late game deck. Now, um, for those of you guys who are new to Hex, well, thank you for tuning into the video. For those of you guys who are new to drafting, um, essentially what's happening here is each player is opening up a pack of cards, and you choose one card, and you pass the remainder of the cards to your left the first time, right, and to your left again. So. What ends up starting to happen is that you start to develop signals and you're sending signals to the people to your left and to your right. Um, how to draft and what you're drafting and what you're going for. Um, a pool of wrath? Uh, who wouldn't... What? How, how, did, how did a pool of wrath get passed twice? A pool of wrath is a card that, um, that conscripts... Uh, a troop with cost two. The created card gets speed at the end of turn. Sacrifices. It is, it is an extremely strong card in limited. Just because you you gen you generate card advantage, you can generate, um, you you can generate win conditions. It helps, uh, proc scrounge. So that that's what I'm really worried about. Cause um, there was two I guess very powerful commons or uncommons in this pack then. I got to take the Pool of Wrath. I can't let it pass a third time. And I'm not really set on any of my particular um, in particular shards as of yet. But yeah, Pool of Wrath, I find it to be a, a very, very useful card. Uh, helps proc scrounge, as I mentioned. Um, sometimes you can get uh, the Disciple of Yazoo Khan, which keeps on coming back. Sometimes you'll get the Emperor Lackey, where you can sacrifice another troop in order to um, in order to gain more. All right, uh, Webborn Apostate is extremely, extremely good now, especially if I am going to be going for Diamond Sapphire. Um, yeah, I think I have to go with the Webborn Apostate here. Um, anytime that you can get. Uh, anytime you can get charges. Sweep Away is good. Vanquish is good. Gem Scout is good. Royal Halberdier is good. All of those are extremely, um, extremely, extremely good for me. Um, Gem Scout is, no, I guess, not extremely good, but um, fairly strong in, in my matchup as well. So we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, I really want another... If I can get a Cloud Bounder, I would be, I would be happy. And cloud bounders and more flight, more evasion, high defense troops, um, or ways to get ways to get charges is generally the the way that I seem to be going about this time around. Let's see what is coming up next. Uh, Diamond's favor is is. Well, Diamond Saver will probably wheel. I'm trying to go late game. So Sky Spire Scholar is a 3-drop, 0-6, a very, very strong defensive body that's, that pretty much sticks to the board. Um, unlike some of the other game da other games out there, damage does not is not permanent. Damage is until the end of turn. 
So a 0-6 means that your opponent needs to deal needs to either destroy the card outright or deal six damage to it immediately in one turn in order for it to really push through that damage which um is is actually fairly difficult to do so i am going to be putting in the sky spire scholar here um diamond's favor moon glow hunter is a, a little bit of a hit or miss card in my opinion but yeah that that seems to be a, a very s solid in sapphire and we'll see what else is there as well um yeah drafting ada like, if I can get another two apostates, then it would be really good. But then, do I even go Theros at that point? If I'm heavy, ooh, there's the Cloud Bounder that I was looking for. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, t I'm definitely gonna take the Cloud Bounder. It works well with the Midnight Gatherer, Webborn Apostate. Solid two drops that um, you get a three-three flyer out on the board. Um, things, things generally work out there. Sapphire's favor, May Wheel. That might be a good pickup on the wheel. Galleon, Spearcliff, also Adamantian and Calvary. See, I, I just, I just don't know. Five for a three, a four, four, four Swift Strike. If you get a Valor from somewhere else, versus the Galleon Spearcliff, which is a four for a three five, right? Like, like anything that a four four Swift Strike can deal with a three five can normally deal with as well and the adamant and the cavalry needs um, a valor that it that it itself cannot generate so that's the problem there but yeah uh, i'll probably be do hopefully i'll be doing a lot of talking during the um, the drafting portion i guess and then i'll probably uh, quiet up a bit later on um i'm gonna take the mesa caretaker not because i think not because i think it's gonna be useful but if i get a blessed scout in in pack two pick two um assuming or pack two pick one assuming that the rare is not something that i need to grab um the shroud is the shroud gives you a little bit of spell shield here uh taking a look i taking a look across the board i could try and go for to switch it up uh, maybe go dreadlings um i i could go i could go dreadlings as well with a uh, backup so you know what? i'm gonna take the potent puffball uh, i like the potent puffball more and if i start getting past a lot of dreadling things i can i can switch to theros very very easily since i haven't committed to anything okay uh, memory of the fallen actually made it back or or all right, Memory of the Fallen made it around again. Um, Shoku's Garden. I, I got. I I got to take the Memory of the Fallen, right? Like Mystic Naturalist, Cloudbounder, uh, Sky Spire Scholar is still good, but yeah, I I think I think Evasion in the Air is is my win condition. Now I haven't seen any Chastise or Decree of Vanishings. Um, I did see one sweep away, so removal may be my problem here. I don't have. I don't have uh, enough removal. Uh, let's see if another memory of the fallen makes it makes its way around. If it does, um, then I am probably most definitely sticking with an um, diamond sapphire here. Okay. Oh, there's the fleet foot. That. Uh, yeah, there's the fleet foot. It is a mobilize. It is a quick troop. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it will it will work out well. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I need some combat tricks. I need I need the blind sides. I need the outflanks now. Um, and with this, I, I dive further into the hole here. All right. All right. Ardent courage is not useful. Uh, Fang is... I could give it flight, but it's really not that great. Snarling Brave, Zap. Um, hmm. Whim? Wind's Whim? Hmm. No, I'll, 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 take, I'll, I'll take away some Skyguard from the pool, since that is my... Um, my win condition, um, a lot of evasion. If I remove Skyguard and and air, 
that should be able to help me. Okay, so Staunch Resolve, Moon Glow Hunter, Underworld Oppression. The Arachnid's not going to help that much. I guess I'll take the staunch resolve here. I'll take the staunch resolve there. Oh, a royal halberdier st stuck around. All right. Um, I will definitely take that. Canyon Fleet Foot and and Royal Halberdier. Canyon Fleet F or Halberdier being a double diamond threshold makes it a little bit harder to play, since I'm running so far a double sapphire and a double diamond. Midnight Gatherer, Webborn. Uh, no, I need to get rid of the staunch. And now I can see I only have troops. Uh, I generally want around fifteen, thirteen to fifteen troops. Um. And that seems to be all I'm getting right now. Just troop after troop after troop. Uh, Moonglow Hunter, um, it's it, it, it's an ad. It, it's a body that it often doesn't die because your opponent doesn't want to kill it. And it, it enables you for a next turn. So oftentimes the 4-drop is, is better than the 5-drop. That, that's what's um, strange about that one. Okay, I'll take the Battle Scriv uh, Scriviner here. Not not too shabby. Um, I'm still I still don't have any removal. No sweepaways, uh, no chastise, no decrees. That that may be my that may be my downfall here. A crackling tides would be useful as well. Um, we'll we'll have to play around with this. I wanted another Sky Spire Scholar, but I saw one. But I, I, I'm not sure. Like, especially with, with Memory of the Fallen, you're just kind of kind of in that position. Yeah, Pool of Wrath. You know, I wasn't wasn't sure where I was going with that. Okay. Oh, wow. So Wild is getting passed pretty consistently. Let's see what it is. Earth Mother. All right. Um. Wow, n not, nothing really good. Uh, I mean, what? Diamond, uh, diamond, diamond sapphire. I don't want to give someone else an earth mother, and I don't see anything else in here that I, I really want. The galleon spear cliff. Um, do I want a galleon spear cliff enough to take away? I can't. This is a really bad pack. Oh, at least for me. I mean, Ardent Courage is, is trash. Wakuna Lookout, I could make it a 1 3. Right? But I, I don't want to first pick a Wakuna Lookout. This, yeah, this is. This is. This is bad. In every sense of the word. Okay, I'll take the Earth Mother. I don't want someone being able. I, I don't want someone to get, like, the Verdant Mill or, or just being able to um, run away with resources just because they got an outpost on the Earth Mother. That would be very scary. And considering I actually have... Okay. Okay, Pyro Smoke Cabalist. A very... another very strong... Rare, but I'm not gonna grab that. Uh, Storm Rider is actually. Do I like the Storm Rider or the Galliant? Considering I just passed. Do I really care about the Fire Smoke Cabalist? Sheesh. I'm having a really hard time here. I'm having a really hard time. Uh, I need combat tricks. That that's that's uh, that's the the truth right now. Storm Rider would be good. Uh, oh, no, web, web Scribe would be good if I want to go Theraz. Do I want to go Theraz? No, I don't want to go Theraz. Even though I do have one, two, three, four. No, I'm, I'm kind of split between um, 
between Ardent and Underworld, so Theroz is not going to be that helpful. Uh, I think I'm going to take, and I, I think I need to take an outflank just just for the combat trick. I don't have I don't have enough combat tricks to to really to really trick my opponent or or be able to take chances. All right. Okay, I gotta take the chastise here. And wow, what is th this pack is like? This pack is like a dreadling pack. Like, hey, I'll take the Wild's Favor, the Termin Determined Bushi, the Potent Puffball, the Eager Lackey, the Tactician, and the Web Scribe. Please? Holy. Or or the Dread Apprentice. Wow, this is. This is a dreadling. This is a dreadling paradise. Yeah, okay, Chastise um, gives me a way to remove. Um, large threats that have damage higher than their... or attacks higher than their health. Attack higher than their defense? Yep. Attack higher than their defense. And by passing the Pyrus Bulk Cabalist, hopefully you know that I'm not trying to rare draft, but at the same time, someone going Ruby... Ruby Wild now? If he if he gets two py pyrosmoke cabalists, that would be that would be an absolute nightmare because every time a dreadling dies, you can use the you gain a charge, and there is the underworld champion that has no shards. Let's say create a dreadling for each each race you control, so you're just constantly cycling troops over and over and over. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, a vanquish. I think I think I take the vanquish here. Yeah, like there was no dreadling things early like in the last one and now all the dreadling things are coming around. This is this is really strange. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the vanquish. Um so I went from having no removal to getting a combat trick, a quick co a quick action removal and a chastise all in the same um all in the same time, which is very useful. Only problem is like Mystic Naturalist. Am I going to really be able to take it out um, if there's an if, if my opponent has a Mystic Naturalist right now? All right, so I, I want more two drops. I the deck seems still a little bit slow, so I I might need some two drops. I do have the Royal Halberdier and the Canyon Fleetfoot as as ways to accelerate the deck, but those are only essentially. Um, essentially what one drops or uh, essentially three drops unless I start grabbing more one drop troops uh, I will take another sky spire scholar here so let's take a look at my at the deck so far by type so yeah so I have 10 troops I can probably get rid of the moon glow hunter for nine right now that's Probably one of the weaker troops. Uh, Mystic Naturalist, Memory of the Fallen, Canyon Fleetfoot, Royal Halberdier, Vanquish. If I get another web, Webborn Apostate, I, I need. Come on, I, I want some two drops. I want some. I want some high quality two drops. Uh, even uh, Mooncall Elder, like so, some of those conscripts. But you know, I, I'm not gonna get a. Con, I'm not gonna get any cons that card now. That's just way too late. Also, if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. I know I produce a lot of Warcraft 3 content. And right now, I think Verdicts of the Ancient Kings taking a little bit of a break just because... Um, okay, Razor Edge Duelist, good. Wakuna Coins. I'll, I'll take the Razor Edge Duelist, obviously, here. Um, I, I've been saying, hey, I need a quality 2-drop, and a Razor Edge Duelist shows up. If I don't get it, then... I'm kind of silly. Motor Chariot, also another win condition for me. Uh, but I'd, I'd rather have the body right now. Oh, actually, no. Oh, I have a lot of... Okay, I'm going to get rid of this guy. I maybe should have got grabbed the Motor Edge Chariot. It can give the, the Phantoms rage. So it all of a sudden turns the 1-1 Flyers into 3-1 Flyers. And makes them that much more difficult to deal with and, and try and counter. Come on, Cloudbounders. Come on, pass me, Cloudbounders. Oh, 
OK. Dream Guide could be useful. OK, now now the Wakunas would actually be good. Are there any other one drops besides tacticians that are? Yeah, see an eager lackey. Wow. Oh, an eager lackey made its way around this far. This is my seventh pick. Who knows? Maybe I'll grab a uh, grab a phantom with it or something, something useful like that. All right. So, Howling Plains Runner actually scares me a little in in the right type of deck. So I don't want to see that get passed around all that much. Uh, no one's re no one's drafting wild and ruby. I guess there was no surging wildfires. It feels like surging wildfires, uh, like they're they're just not that common of an uncommon. Like I don't know if if some uncommons are more rare than other uncommons, but surging wildfires just seem to fall off significantly in terms of strength, or or the, or just a uh, ruby ruby wild just seem to fall off. Okay, this is my ninth pick. Okay, the Wakuno lookout actually made it around, uh, which is good. That means that I can actually grab it. Yeah, I will grab it. I could, I could grab a coin, but I think I'm gonna grab a lookout. I think I'm gonna grab a lookout here. Yeah. What, what do I want? I have I have way too many troops. Okay, I need I need some more support cards. But by grabbing the lookout, it if I can get a lookout early on, it helps all of my Oh, wow. Stormrider made a round. Got to take the storm rider. 13 troops are ready. Oh, I didn't see a single blind side. I did not see... I didn't see a blind side. I... As soon as I mentioned I want out flanks, I, I grabbed one. So... But yeah, it, it seems like the combat tricks are being picked up very... Or all the tricks are getting picked up very, very quickly. Eager la... You ki you kidding me? Eager lackey, potent puffball. A potent puffball wheeled that far, and an eager lackey. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the eager lackey away. Even I am scared of the potent puffball too, but it doesn't seem like people are drafting dreadlings. And and because I say that, someone is drafting an, an amazing dreadling deck. Alarmomatic, I would normally take, but I'm already high on troops. So I'll take the eager lackey here. Um, yeah, I'll take the Shoku's Garden. I don't want to be passing pa passing the archetype for a perfect dreadling deck. Should I have switched to dreadlings? I could have done. I could have done dreadlings. It, it, it seemed like there was no dreadlings in the first round of packs, and then the second one, second round, it was like dreadlings everywhere. Uh, yeah, it really, really strange. Oh. Really, really, like I, I should have been drafting dreadlings. A potent puff, a potent puffball. I, I had, I saw three potent puffballs. Wheel. I, I hate drafting potent puffballs. I 
I don't think any of these cards are gonna get played. I'll, t I'll pull the enlarge because I don't want Skyguard. Pull the Defiler. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even see Shackling Strands. There's no way I don't take that, right? All right. Um, And nothing else I have is socketed. Oh no, ooh, a Wakuna lookout. Ooh. This is a for this is a form of removal. Put each opposing non-chaos troop with cost one or more into its controller hand with assault. It it it's the perfect card. I gotta take it. I, I have way uh, okay, I I need to start thinning out my Is Memory of the Fallen actually one of the weaker cards now? Because I have Mystic Naturalist, Halberdier, Canyon Foot. It can, it at most can be a four-four, a four-drop four-four flyer. That that's still good, but it's most likely going to be a three-three. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I need Bring to Justice. I need Crackling Tides. I need... It, it, it really feels like I'm rare drafting and I'm not trying to. Okay, I, I take a Sapper's Wallbuster here. Because I, I need some form of removal. Valor Rising, I don't have any anything really there. Um, well, Duskwing Priest, I, I don't need any more troops. Yeah, I, I take the Wallbuster. I'm, I'm filling in my... Uh, I need to bring the Justice. Um, let's see. I can do a winter brave. It, it sockets now actually mean something. So sockets actually have a bit more, a bit more staying power. Um, or I do it, or I can do a chimera strike. Chimera strike will probably we probably wheel. Um, yeah, I will. I will go. I'll go winter brave.
Hilltop Monastery? Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Really. Just what I was looking for. I, I needed some sort of mobilize trigger. Um, memory of the Fallen can now... No, Canyon Fleetfoot, go away. If I can find three more, three more things that are, well, three more cards. All of this just because I, I started Diamond with the Midnight Gatherer. Lost in time is bad removal, but for right now, it is still removal. Um, do I do battle agenda? I, I guess I could do battle agenda. Uh, l three card draws. Yeah, I'll do battle agenda. I like, I like battle agenda a bit more. Ooh, take wing. Combat trick and damage dealer. Yes, I will do it. I will grab a take wing. I forgot about take wing. That actually makes me feel a little bit better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and 16 right now. If I was to take out a card, what would I take out? Dream guide? I would probably take out the dream guide with only two. Well, if I got another cloud runner, I would obviously keep the dream guide in and take out something else. But right now, I only have two one drops. Well, I also have the phantoms as well. I'll take a chimera strike. I, th I thought that would wheel. And this is where I start grabbing, like, all of the Dreadling stuff. And I'm going to see, like, tons and tons of Dreadling stuff, huh? A War Bunny, Potent Puff Balls. Turn one hilltop, turn two midnight gatherer. Live the dream, man. Live the dream. I'll take a I'll take a cleansing touch. Cleansing cleansing touch over Chimera Strike. Can it can get me a valor. Right? It, I can revert any card, including other uh other um outposts. Nothing like reverting a treacherous pass on your opponent's turn. After they attack, they're like, oh, gosh. Plus two defense and what else? Um, there's that.
Hardened Phalanx actually became pretty pretty useful. Version still useful, but born chastise. Oh, I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time to figure out what to cut. I'm thinking I cut the winter brave. Did I? I got five rares. Okay, that doesn't mean anything because I not tr I wasn't trying to rare draft. All right. Um, heavy on the diamond, so I guess I am going Ada, even though Ada is not the best. Let's go for plus two and do I on an action or do I want to make someone's troop smaller? I'll make someone's troop smaller. That way I can start. Like, the idea is that if it's the only troop in play, I can target one threat and make them sacrifice the other and, and stuff like that. But no blindsides. That, that, does, that does make me a little bit of a, s a sad panda, I guess. Nine. Eight. All right. That's... Oh, the Wakuna Lookout needs the defense gem. And that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, round one will just click the next click on the next video.